Improving our model. Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics. And in today's video, we're actually gonna tweak and adjust our arguments inside our SVC model to improve our accuracy. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do, we do micro videos, one video upon a time. So last video, well, last video of the tutorial series, we learned how to get a train test split consistent so we get the same results. So as you see here, I on, on our group we have here, I got this as low as I could, it's 86. So it's 86% 80 accurate with no augmentation, all the defaults. But I began to tweak and we're not going to talk about what it's doing because I haven't gotten to research exactly, but I will show you how we can get from an 86.6%, 86, 86 and two thirds, to a 96 and two thirds. So we can look and see, let's see. You can go and look at the literature or we can look here at all the defaults. I think that fits. So the C is a float and it's 1.0. The kernel is RBF. The degrees are three. The gamma is uh, scale. So we're going to tweak. What I have found is tweaking the degree and the kernel. So let's do this right here. Because I realized that the C is the default. So we don't need to include that. So now so when we run it with our first, let me make sure this is still in frame and it is. Okay, so it's 86%. So now with these changes, we simply and quickly go from 86% accurate to a 96% accuracy. So those are the things that you're able to do with these models to adjust. And we're going to talk more about it. But I wanted to show you through trial and error and the tools we have on hand, what we're actually able to do. So um, next video, what we're going to do is we're going to add the, uh, the third flower set and then see if that's going to adjust um, the SVC any and go from there. But real quick video today. Um, you can go to the documentation and actually I'll put that in the description down below the link to the documentation so you can go and read ahead and then we'll begin to dissect and really talk about what these arguments are doing in the background. So we're just not because right now we just I just did it through trial and error to see what I could get if I could improve it at all. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.